In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use dual action edge clamps to do perfect laminations. These are put together using perfectly milled fur, perfectly square and straight, and then assembled with the hardware screwed into the wood. These are used to laminate any type of tabletop or serving board or any kind of project where you want a perfectly flat surface uh, in one go. So I'll show you how these are put together. The clamping mechanism opens up in a sort of accordion style. This allows simultaneous clamping of the edges and when I tighten that up it also keeps the surface nice and tight. So now we've got a perfectly flat piece of work that's being laminated in this press, in this clamping system. And it's, in, it's genius, it's really the best way to do it. I've been doing laminations for years. This is the first time I've had a set of these clamps available to me and honestly, I couldn't be happier with how these work. They're so easy to work with. And if you're a bit of a mechanic and you can cobble together the hardware you could probably build your own version of this. So let's apply this to a project. I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of how I laminate with this clamp. Um, and there will be an extended video of that project. But I'm going to make some serving boards out of really thin, rough, reclaimed maple. So here I am doing my first glue up. I'm going to do two boards at once. Two serving boards at the same time. You'll notice I've got wax paper down on the bottom so it doesn't stick to my clamping frame. And I'm going to use wax paper on the top as well. That's the result of laminating these thin reclaimed maple boards. I got a perfectly flat lamination. There were no issues with it. There was no cupping. There was no bowing. These four-way pressure clamps work like a charm. Anything under an inch for sure is kind of iffy whether it's going to come out right. Any other clamp in my shop or any other clamp I've ever tried would not be able to do a thin piece of material like this. Well, as it turned out, as a test for these pressure clamps, this was the best way to do it. As always, make sure you like this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and don't forget to share. Thanks for watching and have a great day.